It's not as if Quebecers needed another reminder, but this morning they got it. Tony Accurso, already facing charges of fraud and breach of trust, arrested again, this time over a tax evasion scheme. Accurso is a millionaire construction mogul known here for inviting municipal politicians aboard a luxury yacht. Corruption is becoming the battleground issue in a tight election. Each leader is trying to capitalize on it. And there were 39,000, I think, different types of interventions in the last year in the construction industry alone to deal with uh, those who uh, defraud the government. So uh, obviously we recognize there's an issue there. There have been numerous scandals estimated to have cost taxpayers hundreds of millions of dollars and prompted several ongoing police investigations. Many blame Charest for not acting fast enough to clean it up. Rightly or wrongly, the construction industry is associated with the Liberal Party of Quebec. Uh, that is sort of a, a general feeling, simply because they've been in power for 10 years. So this really hurts him. And his opponents know it. At every opportunity, PQ leader Pauline Marois hammers home the theme of clean government. CAQ leader François Legault upped the ante, unveiling former police chief and anti-corruption crusader Jacques Ducheneau as his star candidate. The CAQ is a centre-right party, uh, and the way that it is uh, pitching itself to centre-right voters is by saying, look, we're sort of like the Liberals, but we're not corrupt. And then there's last night's Radio-Canada report. It alleged police stopped a surveillance operation after the target, a former construction union executive, briefly ran into Charest in a hotel in 2009. My conscience is clear this morning. I don't think that's the case for the journalists of, uh, and the, uh, those who are running uh, RATCAN. Now in its second week, it seems issues off the campaign trail are having more of an impact than the party's platforms. Dan Halton, CBC News, Montreal.